Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Now this verse is telling us what? That all praise is for the sustainer of the worlds. But what is this Rabbil Alameen like? What are his attributes? We need to realize and relate with him. The first attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran is that he is Rahman and he is Rahim. The entirely merciful and the specially merciful. These are the two most important and the most vital attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know what we saw all, all our activities, we start with the repetition and with mentioning of these attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our tasniya. Now, the root word for Rahman and the root word of Rahim is what? Rahamin. And this means what? Mercy. The translation of Rahman and Rahim both is reflecting the attribute of mercy. So now the question is, when both the words of Rahman and Rahim relate to the attribute of mercy, then why are two separate words used for this attribute of mercy? There are different reasons. Number one, using two words for mercy, number one, to lay stress, to exaggerate, to highlight and make clear of how merciful he actually is. I'll make you understand with a small example. Like you see, uh, when we are explaining about a color, sometimes we use more than two adjectives. Like you might have frequently said, the color of her dress was brilliant, shocking pink. Although if we had just said shocking pink, it would have been sufficient. But we, to highlight, we say brilliant shocking pink. Similarly, we sometimes say bright fluorescent yellow. Although if you just said fluorescent yellow, that would have been sufficient to convey the color. But then we add the adjective of, the second adjective of bright fluorescent yellow. So this is how it is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attribute of mercy is very, very important to be realized and remember because without Allah's mercy, no one can enter Jannah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to highlight, to clarify, to exaggeratedly make us understand has used two adjectives. The second reason is that in both the words showing the attribute of mercy, but the style, the time, and the manner of mercy is different in both the words. Now, I would want to relate the difference between Rahman and the difference between Rahim. Both are definitely highlighting the exaggeration of the attribute of mercy, but there is a difference. Rahman is a word on the die cast, or it is rhyming to Fu'lan in Arabic grammar. And it means merciful beyond limits, crossing limits. Crossing the limits and boundaries in mercy is the Allah merciful. Like you know, a river, when, when a river is flooded, it overflows, it crosses the limits and boundaries. So Allah's mercy is flooding, it is crossing the limits and it is beyond all known boundaries. Rahim is also uh, grammatically on the die cast or on the right of Ra'il. And this is also a term showing exaggeration of the attribute of mercy. And the second difference is the difference in time and period. Rahman Allah is the one who is merciful in this world. That is before hereafter and before the day of judgment, the quality or the attribute of Allah's mercy is that he is Rahman. In this world, 
His mercy is, is beyond limits, but is general. He is merciful for all, for all in general. And you will see that he is. Don't you see? Allah, Allah blesses his bounties. His bounties, his blessings of food, health, wealth, children to everyone. Not only to his believers, to his followers, to the obedience, to those who are offering salah or who are fasting. No, but he, he blesses with all these bounties even to the non-believers, to the idolaters, to the disobedience, to those who are, who've never even offered salah. Why is this so? Because this worldly life is a trial and this life is an examination hall. And you know what? In an examination hall, the invigilator provides the basic requirements of a chair, of a desk, the sheets, the papers, etc., to all the candidates. May it be an intelligent and a bright student who has been really working hard in the studies, or may it be a dumb and a lazy student who has just come without any preparation for the exam, but because it is an examination hall, the invigilator provides the basic requirements to all. So Allah is Rahman. His mercy is beyond limits, but it is general for all, and he blesses everyone. But he who is Rahman in this world will not continue to be so in hereafter. In hereafter, his attribute of mercy will persist in exaggeration. There is no doubt. But then he will turn from Rahman to Rahim. Rahim on the day of judgment will be highly merciful. His mercy will also be beyond limits. But his mercy will not be general. It will be specific on the day of judgment. It will be specific for whom? For Ibadur Rahman, the obedient servants of Rahman. What does that mean? That on the day of resurrection, Allah Rahim will be specifically merciful, specifically merciful to only those who in their worldly life, they received the blessings of the Rahman and acted according to his obedience. They received the blessings of Rahman and they obeyed the Rahman and not the Shaitan. They had received the blessings from Rahman and they had been obedient to Rahman and not obedient to Shaitan. So these will be the Ibadu Rahman on whom Allah Rahim will be merciful on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Furqan explains some of the traits of Ibadu Rahman. The first being Allah says, Allazina yamshuna anil arzi hawna. Ibadu Rahman have the first attribute that when they walk on the earth, they walk softly. That is, they are not proud. They are not arrogant. They are humble. And humbleness is thus the first trait of Ibad Rahman. Then the second difference between Rahman and Rahim is that Rahim Rab is one who feels happy when his bondsmen, they supplicate or they make dua. And Rahim and Rahman is a Rab who gets angry when his bondsmen do not avail of the offer of dua or supplication. And that is why Prophet ﷺ has said, فَأَكْسَرُ dua." So make dua very frequently because it, it does what? It makes, it makes Rahim happy and it saves us from the anger of the Rahman Rab. Rahman. 